Hola, welcome to Calle de Bohemia in Armenia, Colombia. Um, we have been working for one week to produce this exhibition. Um, I was invited from the United States as the first international artist for uh, Calle Bohemia Foundation, um, a contemporary art um, exhibition space in Armenia. And we're standing in front of the uh, Circle of Evolution. We used all local materials from Armenia for the exhibition. And this is Guadua from one of our local farmers. It's a spiral representing the evolution of societies and cultures of people and art. Uh, this also is the Circle of Evolution. It takes uh, 50 steps for the circle to evolve into the triangle and the uh, surface is local beeswax from a bee farmer in Armenia and underneath that is the news of Armenia during the past week when we were making the exhibition. We um, have the text in Spanish and in English for everyone to read and this one is says from one one form follows the next rhythm movement language people shape societies cultures create environments ideas become institutions we build and we destroy over and over again do we understand or do we just survive each step takes us closer takes us further always returning to itself and the positive forms are bringing the news all over the world. This piece is called Spatial Relations. Um, it's the relationship of the object. The red dot is the object. The black line is the movement. And it's the relationship of object to movement. Um, it's an alphabet of 35 shapes that describes the relationship of the object to the movement. Um, I'm always asking questions such as is the rhythm of the song created by the notes? Is it between the notes? Is the news determined by the events or by people's reaction to the events? Something happens between two points that becomes for me more important than the points themselves. And that's happened in the exhibition with Cayo Bahamia. The process was, is the piece. Um, it took so many people, so many hours to create this exhibition so quickly. And so all of what happens in between the art is the real uh, importance of the work. We're looking at uh, more Guadua pieces. The Guadua is the local lumber here that the people use for scaffolding and building. At, construction of houses. Uh, this is an ark and this piece is called prayer. Um, it's like a spine, a spina, and it is um, the hope of the people that art um, can communicate what's happening in the world and that things will change for the better. And the piece on the end here, Un Color Diferente. Un Color Diferente is, as you can see, a flag of the United States. The 50 stars inside the flag are heads of Obama. The face of Obama in the stars. It's called a different color, question mark, because um, although it is our first black president and he is a different color, the color of the American flag is so strong that it's difficult to make changes. HO in USA, made in, made in America, 
question mark because these are five pairs of Levi's, my Levi's, um, worn out from many hours of work and labor. And um, as you can see, none of them are made in the USA, even though Levi's is a primary brand that the Americans um, are proud of uh, being an American product. But they're made in Colombia, made in Egypt, made in Haiti, made in Dominican Republic, made in Mexico. So, made in the USA? This is um, um, a piece I've been working on uh, very strongly for the last year. It's the evolution of information. Uh, it begins with information. Information in its highest manifestation evolves into knowledge and knowledge in its highest manifestation evolves into wisdom and wisdom in its highest manifestation evolves into truth. Um, the alchemical elements um, are representing also the evolution of materiales, of materials um, from the carbon and the iron and the sulfur and the salt and so we are speaking about um, uh, base metal into gold the idea of the alchemist the idea of transforming materials of transforming ideas of transforming uh, societies and cultures and um, the spirit of the human being the soul going to your being your highest self the information is helpful, but only until it's turned into knowledge, and the knowledge becomes useful and is best when it becomes wise and wisdom, and wisdom in its highest manifestation is truth, but the truth is hard to see. <laughs> The truth is hard to see. The truth is hard to see, verdad? <laughs> and this is the salt. The salt um, eats away the metal. And um, when I'm doing my uh, bronze and, uh, and iron sculptures, you can use the salt to uh, change the color of the metal and erode the metal. In um, Calle Bohemia's sculpture park, sculpture garden, um, this is a piece we made from, uh, it's called a labyrinth, and we made it from recycled um, pillars that were taken down in the city because of handicap and uh, problems with handicap, couldn't get by, and cars were bumping into them, so they pulled them all away, and they were stored out here, and we used them to make a labyrinth. Let's go a little bit. So this, um, there are two entrances, one here and one on the other side, and it goes in and around like this, a path to walk, and around and around and into the center here, and the same over there. And so this is the beginning of the sculpture park for Calle Bohemia. Okay, um, here we have the uh, pumice stone sculpture, the woman with her feet on the ground and the man with his feet in the sky. And in Colombia, uh, el hombre is uh, male and el cielo is male and la tierra and la mujer. So uh, there is a steel structure inside which you can see in certain areas coming through the cast pumice. That's so showing the, the soul of the man. <laughs> Inside, the soul of the man. So we made a, a wood form, and then we cast, first we made the, the metal, local uh, iron workers here made the metal structure for me, Hernan, and um, then we made the wood forms, and then we cast the pumice, and then we pulled the forms away. It's actually still drying, so it's changing color. This is um, a piece, a uh, marble piece, um, d marble donated by another uh, friend, Fernando from Medellin, and he quarries the marble. 
and we have polished some of the surfaces um, and some are rough and this is Espina de Alma, the spine of soul and um, so we've used several ideas of the, the spine of the internal matter.